Good morning, we are in LA. We slept at kind of like an airport hotel that's literally minutes away from the airport with a free shuttle. Um, so it was super convenient. We just booked that for last night and we leave for Hawaii in like two hours. I'm so excited. Um, we have an entire day planned in Hawaii and I'm just, I'm just so excited. It's finally happening. James finally gets to see Hawaii with me. Um, but yes, we will catch you later. We just got here. Well, we got here about an hour ago, but um, we just got our car rental and we rented from Dollar Car Rental. One thing about us, we will always do the cheapest car rental, no matter what, always the cheapest. And we typically always do manager special because it's always the cheapest. And typically we get a car like this with really good gas mileage and um, it's always great doing it this way. So yes, I am so excited to finally be here. Now we're on our way to go to Zippy's to go get some food because we have not eaten since breakfast at like- And it feels like five o'clock to Yeah, to us right now it feels like 5 p.m. It's 2.20 here. So we have a full day packed and we're ready to go, but we need some food first. <laughs> this looks so good. Thoughts? So good. Which one's your favorite? Tell them what you got. I got the trio, which is fried chicken. Which one is this one? This one is cute. Some other <laughs> chicken other katsu. katsu. And then katsu. And then the Korean chicken. I think the Korean is my favorite. Literally good. so good. Biggest cliff I've ever seen. It's a drop into the ocean. We are here. We're safe and we're alive. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Oh, those waves look crazy. Okay, good morning. Good morning. What a <laughs> night. Okay, so I think the last I updated you guys, we were on the road to Hana and James was like a nervous wreck behind the wheel and because it was his first time driving the road, it was one in the morning our time and it was pouring rain and the roads have no guardrails or anything. So quite the experience. Also <laughs> tons of random cattle that were just like getting in the way of our car. Literally felt like a video game at some points. Every moment there's a whole new thing. Yeah, quite literally crazy. So now we are walking, or sorry. So we camped last night, set up our tent, pouring rain, literally pouring rain. So we are in the Haleakala National Park camping and oh my gosh flash floods <laughs> um so now we're on so we slept there last night and then walked over to the pp wide trail and we're now walking that we're gonna walk it up to wainoa falls I 
had no idea what that was. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so we are on the road to Hana. We just stopped off at a little food truck stand. I'll flip the camera around in a second to show you, but we just grabbed two coffees. Had to drive, had to wait like two hours to get it because we woke up close to seven and it's already nine o'clock. We already went on a hike. Yeah, we already went on a hike, went to a beach, went like driving through waterfalls, everything. It was so beautiful. Um, now we're on our way to a red sand beach, which is so, so cool. I'm so excited to go there. Um, and I'll flip the camera around to show you where we are. That little stand in the middle is where we got our coffee. It's at My Tita's Cafe. Honestly, very good coffee. Very cute. Just going on a casual little stroll, morning walk with our coffee on the edge of a cliff. And we're walking at this red sand beach. There's signs everywhere that says this trail is dangerous. Oh, do we have to climb up that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, a nice little casual morning stroll. The, the uh, trail is subject to landslides. So that's cool. Yeah. That water is insane. Yeah, so this is the Red Sand Beach, literally so crazy this is the hike that we have to go back up it's literally just on the side of a rock cliff so i have burks on literally the worst hiking shoes we also have our coffees in our hand so just a casual hike yeah just a casual you know friday morning hike um it's just so stunning also look at all the rocks Tell them what we got. Are you guys so, gonna read it? Pineapple banana bread from Hannah Hana Falls. <laughs> yeah. Farms. <laughs> it's honestly the cutest little farm. I got a little um where is it? Back there. Oh, I got oh a God. little air freshener. Can you open it and show them? Mm -hmm. It's a cute little air freshener. You put like essential oils on it. And it's a little shaka symbol. It's so cute. And it like soaks in the essential oils and then will radiate in your car. And Very James cool. got a cool hat. Yeah, I just got like a trucker hat. Cool little trucker hat. Try the banana bread. Oh. Trucker cute. hat. Cute. Cute. And the banana bread. This will take a little bit <laughs> to, t to open. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> went to Ho Ho'okipa Beach and we pretty much just like laid out there for a little bit and went in these little tide pool things that were on so the water cool. so it was so, so cool. cool and the weather is so beautiful right now it's actually getting pretty hot so right now we are grabbing some pokey from <laughs> Toby's 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 snow what is it Toby's Pokey and Shave Ice. Yeah, Shave Ice. Um, shave Ice and Snow. We saw it yesterday on a little video on the plane that... It's Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri <laughs> was coming to Maui and he he was like trying out that Pokey place. And James and I knew that we had to go try it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some now and then we're going to go to another beach here. Um, so I'm so excited. Not a bad lunch view, if I do say so myself. 
so good. What did you get? I got blueberry, strawberry, and guava. And I got cream. lychee and coconut with cream. National Park. We are not even on the top yet. It's so cold. It's literally ridiculously freezing. We have winter jackets on, but look how we're literally up off the clouds right now. It's it's so beautiful. We're only gonna get higher. higher. Yeah, I think it's like 10,000 feet or something. So we're gonna record up there and we're gonna say at sunset. Um, I don't know how clear sunset's gonna be because it's pretty cloudy, but super excited. It's our 19th National Park. Ended up being way wow, that's really beautiful though. Wow. Um, it ended up being too cloudy to watch the sunset, but still a beautiful view. But we're deciding to, um, well, first off, we saw these beautiful craters, which were so beautiful, and I've never seen them before. I came here to Haleakala one time and I saw the sunset, but I didn't see the giant craters on the opposite end of the park and or the other end of the park and James and I were able to see that which is really cool. Also I almost killed a bird. Yeah James almost killed the, one of the birds that are going extinct. I guess they can't fly. <laughs> um, but I'll, yeah like why, why are they crossing the street with their legs? Just fly. Like, well if they can't fly then they can't fly. I don't know if they can fly or not. But uh, yeah so it's like very very cloudy right now. So I don't think we're gonna get a clear sunset. So we decided we're just gonna go down the park, down back to the entrance to see if we can maybe catch a sunset like by the beach on the way home. So super, super cool. This is definitely one of the coolest national parks. It's just so different. And, oh, those are the birds that you almost hit. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's just so different and unique. And this is our 19th park together. And our goal is to go to all of them. 63. All 63. So we are a quarter of the way there. Yeah, we still have more in Hawaii that we need to go to, but not this trip. Yeah, I think we have to go to we have to go to the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the Big Island. But yeah, we have a two hour and twenty minute drive back to our campsite. Wow. Literally the prettiest views here. All right, so we have our coffees. We got at Grandma's Coffee House on our way to Kihe. Kihe, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, James and I woke up at four six in the morning at our campsite unpacked everything and then oh speed bump and then we went um we drove over here so it's like a two and a half hour drive um on the other side of the island we have 35 minutes left until we get to our destination and we are going snorkeling i am so excited i i've never been actually snorkeling before like i went i went snorkeling with a relative in oahu but that was just like, I jumped off a bridge and then went snorkeling by myself. And then I also went snorkeling. Um, we jumped off a bridge? Yeah. <laughs> and then I also went snorkeling with my friend Caitlin in Maui. Um, we just like pulled up on the side of the road and went ourselves. But I've never actually gone like on a snorkeling tour dedicated to snorkeling. So I'm super excited. I really hope that we see fish, but I don't know. I hope, I would love to see, oh, look at all those cactus. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Oh, okay. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, we're going snorkeling. I'm super excited. I don't know what to expect because I've literally never done this before. We're going to the Molokini Crater. Sounds really legit. Um, I really would love to see like a shark or something or like he hear a whale sound. I would love to see a whale. That would be interesting. I'm thriving. Alright, 
so snorkeling. Oh my gosh, the best experience of my life. It was literally amazing. We we probably went on like a 15 minute ride out to the crater and then we got out there, put our snorkels on and jumped into this blue water and literally saw tons of fish and coral and of fish, eel. Literally. Um, literally heard whales while we were down there. They're Saw so a whale loud. fin in the water. Literally, it was just so much fun. It was like 100% worth it. I've never snorkeled in that capacity before. So it, it was so clear. The water was so clear. You could see everything uh, when you were under it. It was just like it was incredible. We just ate lunch at Maui Fish Co. food truck in Kihei. Um, it was so good. I had spiky pokey. Spiky. Spicy, <laughs> spicy pokey. Which was the really good. The sun's getting to me. I had spicy pokey. Spiky pokey. No, I had, a, I had a, a grilled tuna <laughs> over rice and like tartar sauce. It was so good. Oh, spiky boogie. Oh, look, actual free range chickens. Oh. Wait. My heart's happy when we have coffee. What'd you get? What else? My <laughs> smoker. <laughs> Tell them about your addiction. Um, I don't get anything other than an ice smoker anywhere I go because it's an addiction. <laughs> I don't want anything else, I just want mocha. Alright, so we stopped at the um, Iao, Iao <laughs> Valley. Ioa. Ioa? Is it O A? It's I A O. Iao. Yeah. Iao Valley. If you're, from Hawaii, if you're from Hawaii, you can tell me it's wrong. And you can tell me how to pronounce it, because I don't know. <laughs> but, um, we roast are- Roast us. Yeah, roast us. <laughs> um, we have a two hour drive back to our campsite. <laughs> um, it's the daily drive. <laughs> the daily commute. When we were getting pokey today, um, the guy who was taking our order asked us like where we're staying, and we told him that we're camping in the Kipahulu campground in Hana and he yeah. looked at us he was like oof boy yeah he looked at us as if we were crazy um because we literally have to drive a major distance every day but it's fine because it's such a scenic drive and we're able to see so much of the island that we wouldn't be able to see and there's so much I in see like such a beautiful sunset on the drive yeah because it, it overlooks the sunset so. it's so pretty and there's so much in Hana that it's just, it's so worth it. There's just so much there, it's so beautiful. It does rain a lot on that side of the island. Like it's very sunny right now on this side, um, but it rains a lot there. Like last night we were literally getting poured on in the tent, but we didn't get wet, but the tent was wet and it was pouring. Yeah, the tent got wet and it, like the residue of the, the dampness definitely made us a little bit cold. Yeah, a little bit. But it's okay. We camp a lot, so we like camping. Um, but yeah, so we're now headed back. Um, got a nice drive ahead of us. We went to, oh, that's what I was saying. We went to the valley and the mountains there are so stunning. Literally so stunning. Um, they're kind of like unlike any mountain I've seen. Like they're shaped so interestingly. It almost kind of looks like it's... Like China kind of? Yeah, like it kind of looks like how the mountains look like in China from the pictures that I've seen. Um, it's beautiful. But yeah, so we've had a very action-packed day so far. We went to so many beaches today. We went to Secret Cove Beach. I don't think I have to do them on that. That was really pretty. Um, that was kind of like a little hidden entrance. We went to uh, Wailea Beach. We went to another beach. We went to so many beaches. Um, we literally spent the day like outside all day. Well, this whole entire time. But 
yeah so probably the next time I start recording it will be when the sun is setting on the ride back which should be in about an hour this is the view from our campsite literally stunning okay so we're now at Y Anapanapa I hope I said that right black sand beach um, we just got coffee and you can hear the waves crashing the distance. It's such a beautiful morning today. It's like clear skies. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So we're gonna go walk down to the black sand beach now and go check it out. Oh. <laughs> is so stunning. We're literally hiking up, hiking up the little path here, overlooking the blue water and black sand. Literally stunning. <laughs> All right, so we're on the road to Hana still. Um, and we just grabbed banana bread from halfway to Hana oh shop. Gosh. Oh my it's gosh, so it was so good. Um, we also stopped at this really cute little seashell shack on the road and I got this little, ah, I can't really see it. This whoa, necklace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, that That's view. Beautiful. Oh guys, the views here are so stunning. Um, James got a little pearl bracelet. Right. So, cute. so cute. So handsome. Um, and now we're on our way back to the valley because it's says we're gonna get there around 11:40. it's still like really early in the day um and we wanted to go back there to see if we can get some pictures uh because it's not raining right now so we're gonna do that and then i think we're gonna go and grab either coffee or lunch and meet up with somebody um from instagram here so and then our flight is at 2 30 so jam <laughs> jam packed um, morning and afternoon, but it's literally been so fun. The Black Sand Beach was incredible. Um, the weather is beautiful right now. It's just, just thriving. So beautiful. Guys. Oh. Then you'll remember So we are at the airport, we stopped for lunch. Um, I got more poke. <laughs> Literally have gotten three different poke in the past four days. Um, so good. We met up with, I met up with somebody that I met on Instagram, which was really fun, um, who is living in Hawaii, so, or in Maui. Um, so we met up and we got lunch. And then we just dropped off our car. So sad. So sad to leave. Literally. Literally. Best Hawaii experience ever. It's been so fun. Until next time, Hawaii.